Hi Aries, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media links, tons of information there. Please do go check that out. And a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me in uh, with an energy exchange. It's greatly appreciated as in a tip or donation to the channel. Thank you, thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. And uh, hopefully we can help to grow the channel and any support you like to give it to help it grow, to get the messages out to the people that need to hear it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me and I really do truly love to do this for you guys. Okay, for Aries, second half of September already. Can you believe it? Going into fall. All right, so Aries, what do we have for Aries? Love connection, second half of September. Hope everybody's doing well. All right, so this is a Zodiac Oracle, so whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with what comes out, that is totally fine. It's a little extra bonus. All right, so that's two. I just want one. What may some Aries be dealing with or have around them? Second half of September. Love connection reading spirit, please. Thank you so much. One card for Aries, please. One card. Well, that's three, but I'm going to take that one. Let's see what we have. Water. So, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, some could be dealing with a water sign. And the energy of water is very flowing. It's very healing. It's all about emotions and feelings. So, you know, we'll see how that plays into your love reading. All right, Aries. Okay, first thing I'll do is get an overall love connection energy for you. And this can be any type of connection. There's nothing specific to the type of connection that you have to have. Any kind of connection with whoever you have in mind at this time. And obviously, if you click on the title, then there's something that drew you to the title so there may be a message in here for you all right so what is the overall love energy spirit please all right so we have and i believe this is castle or palace it's palace number 19 and then 19 1 and 9 is 10 Tens are about completions but then you always have a new beginning but then you have the six of spades here Excuse my nails. I know I have to do them over. They look terrible, but <laughs> I didn't have time. Okay, so the Six of Swords, Six of Spades, talks about um, leaving something behind and going into a more calmful, peaceful place. Uh, you've learned your lessons, and now you can leave it behind. Go forward with the lessons you've learned and head into a more positive, calmful, peaceful direction or place. And it may be towards this golden palace here. So let me just read a little snippet on, um, oh, it's tower. Okay. Cooperations, organizations, institutions, and governments come under my influence. I am boundaries and restrictions, so be mindful of isolation. I describe your ambitions as well as your expectations. And let, let's not forget your higher education. Hmm. So it offers protection, security. So you may be uh, going uh, into a more secure place with your person. You may be leaving uh, baggage behind, no longer serving your connection, whatever that may be. And you're heading into a more structured, um, hopeful place for a new beginning with your person. All right, so let's get here. And water is very healing. So maybe, again, with the Six of Swords, you go into a more healing, peaceful, calmful place. So a lot of healing going on for some reason for you and your person. Okay, so 
for Aries and their person in this love connection. We'll get one for you and one for your person, how you feel ab about each other and how you feel in this connection. Well, we've got three there, but I only want two. One for Aries, Spirit, please. How is Aries feeling about their person and about this connection? All right, well, we have stars. And then for your person, oh, we have the lady here. So this is the stars. So it's peace, harmony, hope, optimism, faith, dreams and wishes coming true, being divinely guided. And one and six is seven is a very divinely spiritual number. And then you have the six of cups. So this could be um, something that was predestined for you with the star energy. And the six of cups can also talk about past lives. You may have had past lives with this person. Um, someone you've known for a very long time, maybe since childhood. Uh, somebody you went to school with, you worked with like very early on. Uh, childhood friend could be anybody here. But um, getting like lifelong companion here. Being, being it's very divinely guided here with the star energy. And again, with the healing, the star energy is about healing. Water is about healing. The six of spades is about going to a more six of swords healing place. Wow. And then you have the lady here holding a rose with the book here. And then you have the ace of spades here, which is the ace of swords. So that's truth, clarity, uh, new beginnings based on truth and clarity and communication, conversations. Nine and two is 11, which is then two, which is about people coming together in partnership in some way, shape or form. And let's see what the lady, I think, you know, she's also having faith, hope and optimism for this new beginning based on truth and clarity, seeing things clearly having like peace here with the rose, peace offering. She looks very content. So let's see here. I just want to see what um, lady. Uh, let's see. I could be you, the reader, or female subject of your reading, a female partner of the significator. Um, The red rose provides an additional point of connection that binds them. It is a token, a gift, something given and received, something shared. So, so I think, you know, she's just very calm and peaceful, content, you know, waiting to give this offering like a gift here. So, you know, I see a new beginning going, you know, someone you've known from the past, someone or you've been with for a very long time here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the clover. So this is good luck. This is good luck. And then we have two again, partnership, six of diamonds, six of pentacles is that equal give and take, that reciprocity, balance. Good luck here. Good luck. Uh, abundance. So I do see luck and abundance here, partnership, very balanced energy, very healing energy. All right, so let's see. Let's see what's going on for you, Aries. Some of you may be in this, maybe someone you've been with for a while now that you're uh, committed with. You could be living with them, with the um, tower here. Very content energy, of like very healing. Uh, maybe you just bring a very calmful, peaceful, healing energy to one another. Very content energy. All right. So let's see what's going on with Aries and their connection. What's going on with Aries and their connection? Let's get one card for Aries, one card for your person. We'll clarify the stars here and the lady, please. For Aries spirit, thank you so much. Oh, we take that one. So, 
for you here we have the Druid, which is the, this is the uh, Taurus, this is the Hierophant. So this is, uh, so you, you're, I don't, you're either married to this person or committed to this person because the, um, this is the Hierophant. So this speaks of commitment, marriage, uh, faith, spirituality, organization, uh, and things of structure, things of that nature, do what's, doing what's moral, just, and right, uh, integrity, morals. So I feel like you're very committed to this person here. And then for them, we have the three of pentacles energy, earth energy. So I feel like, uh, you know, this is working together. So I feel like you work together very well. This person's very content with you, works very well with you. You're very committed to them. Wow. Aries. All right. So let's get a couple clarifiers now, Aries. So we have the Ace of Swords. So, and we have the Ace of Swords right there. So Spirit confirming that. Air energy here. New beginning based on truth and clarity. Some sort of truth and clarity of a situation here. Um, communication, cutting out things, not serving you. Here, having a big like epiphany realization and like a brand new beginning. And that's the sword of victory. So very uh, victorious connection here between the two of you. And let's get, you feel victorious being with this person. It's like they raise you up. They may, they uplift you. They make you feel um, strong, dependent, victorious. All right, so let's get one for your person. The Ten of Cups. Wow. <laughs> and I had said water here again. So they definitely could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And I had said that they are very, with the lady here, very happy, content. Ten of Cups is happiness and joy, happy home and family life, total love and emotional fulfillment in every single possible way. All the cups here being full, overflowing. Yep, they're very happy, content here. Love, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, every single way with, with you. Wow. So let's get your actual situation. You know, maybe you, uh, maybe you are married or just committed here. Or maybe you will be getting married because you see these two people coming together with, you know, with this other person in front of them, which almost looks like a, uh, like an altar, you know, when you get married. So maybe, you know, there could be marriage on the table here in the future. Maybe you're realizing here, you know, I really, you know, feel with the star energy here, divinely guided that this is my person for life and maybe, you know, wanting to marry them. Wow. So let's get your actual situation now, Aries. Can we have about three cards? One. I'll take those. Okay. So we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Four of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So Earth energy here with the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Swords in the three of cups. So I think maybe you're juggling around whether or not to, uh, this is about, you know, juggling emotions, feelings, physical things. So, you know, this is connected to you. So you're juggling around, you know, maybe do I want to level up this, you know, maybe propose, not propose. I don't know. Should we stay the way we are? You know, I think very, uh, conflicted here in juggling around all these ideas. Um, concerning your connection here. But with them, they have the Three of Cups. So they got the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is about, you know, well, it can talk of reunions, but I'm not getting that energy. I'm getting like celebrations, happy times, good times with you, um, celebrating, coming together, being happy, working together well and being happy and having good times together also. Being very happy and content. So I don't know why you would be conflicted whether or not they would want to commit further to you because I definitely see here they do if you're wondering that. And then connecting the two of you is the Four of Swords. So 
that's an energy of you know healing again with the healing thinking contemplating um, taking a retreat a respite a rest a, you know time off on your own um, I don't know why your connective energy would be the four of swords um, I don't know let's why is the four of swords here Okay, so we have the chariot energy here, which is cancer. So this is moving forward victoriously, being very balanced, going after what you want, a lot of passion, drive, ambition, and being successful. So I feel like you want to, you, maybe you want to rush, uh, rush this thing forward and you're juggling a lot, of, a lot around, maybe like your family and your career and this person wanting to propose, get married, you know, juggling all that around. Maybe they're making plans too, you know, working two, three, say with working with other people. So it could be that you're planning a wedding here and it's getting a little overwhelming maybe. So maybe the four of swords is that rest energy, like time to take a break and take a rest, the two of you from everyday life, from planning, from, you know, just everything going on. So that could be, you know, for some. All right, so let's get another one here. So we have the six, wow, <laughs> the six of swords, spirit confirming the six of, six of swords that was right there. Wow. So again, going in a more comfortable, peaceful place. So you will be going in a better place wherever you're going to, if it's a higher commitment, marriage, whatever here. Um, you're definitely going to a better, you're, you're heading right to this Ten of Cups. Look at that. You're heading right to that Ten of Cups. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. I feel like you got a lot going on here, juggling a lot around. And they're working with other people, planning things, and you both need to rest. I, that's what I'm getting. You both need to rest. Luck is on your side. There's no need to worry. It's time to bring balance here you know, moving forward with balance, but you need to take a little bit of uh, a break and rest here. That's connecting the two of you together. All right, so let's see. Let's get some advice and guidance for you, Aries. Some advice and guidance for you, Aries. And this connection, advice and guidance for Aries. That's too many. All right. Wow. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. And what did I say about luck? And, I, and when I had this card in my hand with the clovers here, I was going to say the, this is like the Wheel of Fortune, and I didn't. And here's Spirit saying, I was trying to tell you, to say this is the wheel of fortune and here's the wheel of fortune <laughs> so yeah sometimes i just don't listen but here's the wheel of fortune sagittarius energy but it doesn't have to be so again divine energy here fate destiny things going in a better direction growth abundance being very wealthy and abundant you know things going in the right direction things moving forward in divine timing here and then you have the knight of shields energy so that is taking action very stable grounded action movement forward very slow moving action and i had said here with the four of swords that you need to take a break and rest and here's the knight of shields telling you to slow it down the wheel is moving in the right direction don't have to rush so much the knight of shields pentacles pentacles are very very slow moving so you are moving in the right direction, but you just need to slow down. Slow down just a little bit here. All right, so let's get uh, some more clarification with your advice. Somebody needs to slow down, take their time, think things through thoroughly, Shh. you know, stable, grounded plans, moving forward. Everything is moving in the right direction. There's no need to worry. Because you have the chariot moving forward and that balanced, positive direction. So is the wheel. 
the Six of Swords going in that more, going right to the Ten of Cups. Wow. All right, so some card, okay. I guess these two are the clarifiers. So we have the Lovers and the Eight of Swords. So again here, soulmate energy here with the Lovers. This is Gemini, doesn't have to be. So again, this is two people coming together in a soulmate contract, a soulmate union here that's destined that's meant to be with the wheel of fortune but then you have mental blockage here. i just feel like with everything going on it's like it's like you can't get out of your own head here with the eight of swords air energy here so i feel like you feel like bound and trapped and like so much with the struggling here and needing just to slow down take a breather take a break and take a more slower approach because you don't want to be in this Eight of Swords feeling all bound up and tied and uh, having mental blockage and securities. So let's see. What is the... So let's see what your possible outcome is. Okay, so we have the Fool and the Eight of Wands. So again, here is the action movement forward. Again, with the Eight of Wands, very passionate energy. It's Aries, that's your energy. And the fool here, taking a leap of faith, this is Aquarius energy, it doesn't have to be, but uh, leaving all past baggage behind, taking only, taking with you only what you need, and taking this risk, this leap of faith, jumping right in. So I feel like you just want to jump right into this. Here's the travel, action, communication, with the Eight of Wands, moving forward quickly. Like you want to move very forward, very quickly into this with the fool energy. But again, your advice is to slow down a little bit and take your time. So let's get more clarity with your outcome. There is a new start here with the Fool. So the Magician, yeah, manifesting this new beginning. Magician is one. So manifesting this new beginning. Pentacles for stability, cups for love and emotions, Wands for passion and action and uh, swords for clarity and truth and manifesting the soulmate union contract, whether it's leveling up into a higher commitment, marriage here, moving forward very quickly, but I need just to slow down just a little bit. Okay, one more, one more, thank you. Two of Wands. So this is making plans for the future, going in a new direction. Um, that's your energy, fire energy, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag. But making plans, decisions for your future together, for the two of you with the Two of Wands. M looking forward, moving forward into the future, looking into the future, making those plans and de decisions very passionately moving forward. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Eight of Cups. So water energy here. So, you know, this does talk about leaving a situation no longer serving you, no longer fulfilling for you, but it also can be walking towards your destiny to what's uh, meant for you. So if you have left something in the past that wasn't serving you, I think you're walking, you know, you walk to your destiny. It might have been this person. And then you have the ace, you walk to your ace of pentacles here, to your brand new beginning, that stable, grounded, abundant, prosperous growth for the long term. Pentacles are long term, long term abundance and stability. And then we have 14 here, which is temperance. So again, with the balance, needing to balance out your energies here, this is patience, being patient, being more patient, having, you know, using slowing things down and giving yourself more time, patience, healing, energy here. So, yep, yeah, you need to slow down. This new beginning is here. And here's the ring. So I definitely feel like there's a marriage here or proposal coming or something here. Okay. So let's get uh, 
some advice and guidance for you, Aries. Advice and guidance for you, Aries, with the Oracle. What do we have for Aries? What messages do we have for Aries? Regarding this love connection, please, for the second half of September, Spirit. So we have the Hanged Man with Observe. And we have the Five of Swords, Win or Lose. So here, again, is telling you to take a pause, take a break with the Hanged Man energy. <laughs> It's just the hangman just kind of lays back, goes with the flow, flow, water here. Just go with the flow a little bit more and just sit back a little bit and don't rush so much. And uh, just take it a little bit slower. You do have win or lose here. So it's like trying to like get ahead like really quickly and you don't care like what happens or, any, you know, that kind of energy here. So be careful of that that makes sense to you. You do see a heart. Maybe you're afraid you might lose this person if you don't um, commit further or something like that. It's like, will I win or lose this person? Balance again. So he has temperance coming through again with balance. So really needing to balance yourself out, slowing down a little, having a little more patience and time in this connection. So we have two major arcana that come out in this deck. Man, <laughs> wow, the magician, the magician twice. Wow, the magician twice, temperance twice. Wow. So yeah, you really, really want to manifest this new beginning. You don't want to win, you know, lose this person. You want to win this person, but you need to remain more balanced, have more time and patience as you manifest, manifest this uh, moving forward. They are happy and content with you. Um, if you're not like planning things already um, and you're thinking about it and you're unsure about them, they're definitely happy and content with you. So there's no need to worry about that. All right, so let's see what we have. On the bottom of the deck here so we have seven of cups daydreams and decisions so you know again about making these big decisions you know making this big decision you know maybe daydreaming about this person what the future would be like you know would be like making plans with this person moving forward yeah so Aries I see um, if you're planning your future now, if you feel like if you're planning a wedding or something like that, or making plans to live together or commit further, I think it's moving maybe very, very quickly and things are starting to feel a little imbalanced here with the two of pentacles juggling around. You need to just slow it down, have patience and time, take it slower. It's all going in the right direction anyway. Or if you're thinking about proposing and you're afraid to lose this person, they definitely are happy and content with you, and I don't think you have to worry about that. Okay, um, Aries, uh, this didn't resonate for you. You could check the description box below for pa uh, past playlist. Maybe something down there will resonate with you more. I do consider them all, all timeless, so I would say disregard the dates. And if you find a title that catches your eye, I'd say watch it anyway. And if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, comment. I love to read the comments, subscribe, hit the little bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do ask, though, if you do subscribe and you don't, don't like to get all the notifications, please don't unsubscribe. You can as easily go and unclick the notification bell, and you'll no longer receive notifications. You'll just have to go either to my channel or go into your subscriptions area to see if I've uploaded any new videos. So you have that option also. So good luck to you moving forward here, and I'm sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.